بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد Falling for the small deception is free fall for the big deception So small deception is the deception which the dunya Iblis, Shaitan wants to beguile a person and if a person can fall for the small traps which doesn't need any skill or mastery or convincing then the big scheme, the big deception one will walk right into the trap very easily so for example with regards to the virus the deception that is behind it only Allah knows but let's look at the logic of the people of Batil for example in France there are three ladies walking down a street one is wearing parda one is a face mask and one does not have a mask at all so the lady that's wearing the purda will get a fine the one that doesn't have a mask she'll get a fine and the one that has a mask won't be fined so in one country and one jurisdiction one system which is supposed to be liberty equality and fraternity there is complete contradiction on the same breath how much priority is given to wearing the face mask and how much priority has been given to wear the niqab and whenever lockdown in this entire circus ends will we remove the face mask and wear niqab or not? a person stays indoors for fear of catching the virus but are we concerned about catching the virus of evil in clubs, raves, parties, casinos, dance floors when a person is in lockdown whatever you love you will do that in your free time so you should encourage the students in Darulam that it's not what you do in class time and it's not what you do in your mutala time, your study time but after 9 o'clock, 9.30 or on a Friday when it's a day off or Sunday what you do in that free time will identify what you love and the students of the day after mutala time are the students so in our free time during lockdown was I engaged in Salah, Dhikr, Quran, Tahajjud, Masail of Deen or was it YouTube, Internet, Movies, PlayStation, Music, Social Media, Porn Sites So this virus has given us the fear of death but the mizaj of Deen is to look forward to death So now people are stay away from each other but they don't stay away from Haram you will, a person will sanitize themselves and want to clean themselves externally but have we cleaned our hearts internally? we cover in our mouths but we don't cover our sins in Facebook, Instagram people are publicizing their disobedience are we covering up our words, our tongue? are we covering up the faults of a believer? So, these are all small deceptions. The biggest deception is the deception about Allah. But if a person falls for this, وَمَا الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا إِلَّا مَتَاعُ الْغُرُورِ The life of this world is a deception. وَلَا يَغُرُّنَّكُمُ ال... The shaitan shouldn't deceive you. بِاللَّهِ الْغُرُورِ So, dunya and iblis are there 
But these are the small deceptions. A person who wants to cut all his hair will pay a lighter, a lighter price, a, a cheaper rate, compared to a person who wants to cut some of his hair. But we'll pay that extra money. A person who buys a pair of a pair of clothing that is brand new without flaws, that is cheaper than a, a piece of cloth clothing that is full of flaws, like shredded patch jeans. That costs more. So where's the logic? Somebody wears cigarette socks, they pay in more for a sock that's half the fabric. Men's trousers are supposed to be above the ankles. If all the men in the world wore their trousers above the ankles, and just say five centimeters times how many men? Three million, four million, five million times five centimeters. How much of fabric would the world have saved? But to this talker, men's trousers have become more lower, that it's like become mops. And on the contrast, women's clothing, which is supposed to be covered in the ankles below, well below, with no exposure, has become shorter and shorter and shorter. Who we supposed to be talking to, we don't talk to. Like our parents, making mashura with the ulama, with the mashaykh. And who we're not supposed to talk to, na mahrams, females, strangers, we're talking to them. So family have become strangers and strangers have become family. So this is a big deception. And we need to see what we love. What am I doing in my free time? That is what I love. So there's one incident Alama Ajluni has mentioned and he has quoted uh, Al Mawahib, which is Alama Al Qastalani, Al Mawahib al Dunya. So there is a lot of kalam and details which the muhaddisin have gone to into. As the Sheikh has mentioned this narration, so we will mention it as well. But just to understand love, what love do I have and what love did Sahaba have? Once Nabi alayhi salatu was with Sahaba and he asked Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu, Mada tuhibbu min dunya From this dunya, what do you love? So he replied, Uhibbu min dunya thala, three things. Al julus bayna yadayk وَالنَّذْرْ إِلَيْكْ وَإِنْفَاكْ مَالِي عَلَيْكْ I love sitting in your company, looking at you and spending my wealth upon you, O oh, Nabi of Allah. وَأَنْتَ يَا عُمَرْ And what do you have to say, Umar? أُحِبُّ ثَلَاثًا And I love three. أَمْرْ بِالْمَعْرُوفِ وَلَوْ كَانَ سِرًّا وَنَهْيَ عَنِ الْمُنْكَرْ وَلَوْ كَانَ جَهْرًا وَقَوْلَ الْحَقِّ وَلَوْ كَانَ مُرًّا and joining good even though if I do it secretly, forbidding evil even if I do it openly, and speaking the truth even though it is better. Sirran, jahran, murran. And Uthman, Uthman, what do you love? Uhibbu thalathan. Ith'am at ta'am wa ifsha' as salam wa salat bil layli wa nas niyam. Feeding food. Spreading salam, reading salat while people are sleeping. At ta'am, as salam, and niyam. Wa anta ya Ali, I love three things. Ikram al daif, wa sawm bil saif, wa darb al adui bil saif. Honoring, treating the guests, fasting on a hot summer's day and smiting the enemy with my sword. Then he asked Abu Dhar, what do you love of dunya? He said three things, al ju wal marad wal maut. And why? I love hungerness so that qalbi, my heart will become soft. I love sickness so that dhambi, my sins will be removed. And I love death, Rabbi, so that I can meet my Allah. I love to meet Allah. Qalbi, Dhambi, Rabbi. 
Then فَقَالَ النَّبِيُّ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ حُبِّبَ إِلَيَّ مِنْ دُنْيَاكُمْ ثَلَاثِ Three things have been made beloved to me أَتِّيبُ النِّسَاءُ وَجُعِلَتْ كُرَةُ عَيْنِ فِي الصَّلَاةِ Perfume, women and salat has been made the coolness to my eyes. So عِتَر pious noble women مُسْتُرَاد it will take you close to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in salat. Then Jibreel alayhi salam came down and he made salam and he said I love three things in your dunya Tabligh al-Risala wa da' al-Amana wa hubb al-Masakeen That making tabligh, propagating the message of Allah fulfilling the Amana and loving the poor, the needy ثم سعيد إلى السماء. He went to the heavens and he descended again. And he said, Allah سبحانه وتعالى sends salam. And he said, إنه يحب من دنياكم ثلاثا. Allah loves three things from your dunya: لسانا ذاكرا وقلبا خاشعا وجسدا على البلاء صابرا. A tongue that is moist to the ذكر of Allah. A heart that has the Remembrance in the khushu and the submission, that heart that submits to Allah and a body that's sacrificing for Allah patiently. So this was their love. What is my love? One great conqueror after conquering his climax and apex was returning home. On the way he took ill, he was on his deathbed his death was staring him in the face. He realized his conquest, his army, his, his, his sword, his sharp sword, his wealth, his possession, his luxuries were of no benefit. His desire was now, if only I could be at home and see the face of my mother and bid her to the last, see the faces of my family my progeny, my future. But there was no option and he was going to die as health did not permit it. So as he lay there, he called his generals and he said, I will depart soon from the world. I have three wishes. Make sure you fulfill it. And with tears down their cheeks, the generals agreed to the kings, the conquerors, last wishes. So he said, my first desire is that my physicians alone should carry my janaza. Secondly, I desire that when I am being carried to the Qabr, the path should be laden with gold, silver, precious stones from my treasury. And thirdly, both my hands should be kept dangling out of my coffin. So the people around him were wondering, what is this request and where has this come from? But nobody did. So one general took some courage and said, O king, he grabbed him by the hand, put it by his heart and said, we assure you all your wishes will be fulfilled, but what are the what is the wisdom behind these requests? So he took a sigh of regret and he said, I would like the world to know the three lessons of life that I've learned. I want my physicians to carry my janaza because they will realize no doctor on earth can cure anybody who the clutches of death have snatched and taken in control. They are powerless. So don't ever take life for granted. And don't ever see shifa and cure in where you think so it's coming from. Secondly is the gold and the silver and the precious stones is a path to the graveyard to tell the people that I owned much more than this, but my greed for power and riches will not help me one bit, and I'm not going to take anything with me. That's a complete sheer waste of time. As for the third wish, my hands should be left dangling out of the coffin, for people should know that I came into the world empty-handed, and I will depart from this dunya empty-handed. And as he was saying this, his rule left him. So dunya is like that. 
Somebody came to us in Basri and said, مَا تَقُولُ فِي رَجُلٍ عَتَى اللَّهُ مَالٍ فَوَيْ تَسَدَّقُ مِنْهُ He gives sadaqah, he joins family ties, he does good, everything. Can he fulfill his desires and ambitions? He said, لَا وَاللَّهِ Even if he had the dunya, he cannot utilize the wealth إِلَّا لِحَاجَةٍ وَالْكِفَايَةٍ مِنْ غَيْرِ سَرْفٍ وَلَا تَبْذِيرٍ For his needs only, without any wastage, without any extravagance, and the rest should be used لِآخِرَتِهِ ذَخِيرَةً For the Akhirat, because that's where he is going to go. As in Basir Ramallah, you say, وَاللَّهِ لَقَدْ أَدْرَقْتُ أَكْوَامٌ كَانَتِ الدُّنْيَا أَهْوَنَ عَلَيْهِمْ مِنَ التُّرَابَ الَّذِي مِنَ التُّرَابَ الَّذِي يَمْشُونَ عَلَيْهِ أي no people that dunya is more disgrace and more low than the sin that they're walking on. مَا يُبَالُونَ أَشْرَقَتِ الدُّنْيَا أَمْ غَرَبَتْ ذَهَبَتْ إِلَى ذَا أَمْ ذَهَبَتْ إِلَى ذَا Whether the sun rises or sun sets, whether dunya comes or dunya goes, or whose hands it goes, it never ever bothered them. It never ever bothered them. So dunya is like that. And somebody has compiled some mysteries of life that this dunya is such, it even has mysteries, but the biggest mystery will be the mystery of Akhirat, which if we're not prepared for, we will have regress. So they say, how do you tell when you've run out of invisible ink? How do you tell when you've run out of invisible ink? If practice makes perfect and nobody's perfect, then why practice? If practice makes perfect and nobody's perfect, why practice? If a man with no arms has a gun, is he armed? Question. If a man with no arms has a gun, is he armed? Why did the kamikaze pilots wear helmets? They were the Japanese suicide pilots. So the question is, why did they wear helmets? Why is it that every time you lose weight, it finds you again? Why is it that every time you lose weight, it finds you again? What is a free gift? Aren't all gifts supposed to be free? What is a free gift? A gift in self technically is something that is free. Why do they sterilize the needles for lethal injections? He's going to die. What's the need for sterilizing it? Why is it called lipstick if you can still move your lips? What should you do if you see an endangered animal eating an endangered plant? Why is lemon juice made with artificial flavor and dishwashing liquid made with real lemons? Do they have reserved car parking spaces for non-disabled people at the Paralympics? Why do your nose run and your feet smell? If blind people wear sunglasses, why don't deaf people wear earmuffs? Why don't deaf people wear earmuffs? If quarters never win and winners never court, who came up with the phrase, quit while you're ahead? Quit while you're ahead. Why do the signs that say, slow children, always have a picture of running children? Why is the time of day with the slowest traffic called rush hour? If the opposite of pro is con, does that make Congress the opposite of progress? Does that make Congress the opposite of progress. So mysteries, questions. The greatest mystery, if you've not prepared, will be Akhirat. If a book titled Failures doesn't sell, is it a success? If someone with multiple personality disorder threatens to kill himself, is it considered a hostage situation? Why? Do overlook and oversee mean opposite things? Overlook and oversee. If a person picked, who is picked up for stealing human hearts, 
So they arrest him. Is it called cardiac arrest? Why is it called a building when it's already built? If people dream in color, is it a pigment of their imagination? If you were under house arrest and lived in a mobile home, would you be able to go anywhere you wanted? Why is abbreviation such a long word? Why is abbreviation such a long word? Damal Fatuhila is a person comments any wrong. What be is Sayyid al Hassan Tamhuha? That a person who does any wrong, he should follow it with good deeds. Wa akhiru da'wana anil hamdulillahi rabbil alameen.